This is Am I the A-Hole for wearing a white dress to a wedding after being specifically requested to by the bride. And this is OKOP, home of the craziest true stories on earth. I'm John and Riley. What do we think? I mean, can you be the A-Hole after someone, you did the thing the person asked you to do? Yeah. Are you the A-Hole? There are some things that if you're giving permission to do, you should never do it. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Nothing. But yeah, that it's no, you never do that. You just don't. You're in the wrong. Should have been better. Should have been better and just what ignore her when she asked her to <laughs> you never wear white to a wedding unless you are the bride right right so ignore the bride like, ignore. even though she's like yeah you got the conflicting what the bride wants you to do and what you know not to do that's tough that's tough but you it's know your what fault <laughs> for listening to her riley's full bore i'm gonna say no because she asked you to so we'll see we'll see what it ends up being this comes from cicada potential 6437 they say omg my head is such a jumble right now let me try to make sense of all of this when i 26 female was five we moved and our next door neighbors had a girl my age named Bella, 27 female. We immediately connected and grew up thick as thieves, aka the best of friends. Is that a Southern? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds southern, like right? it. Yeah, yeah. Thieves. I think I think so. I think it's thieves. Let us know in the comments if we're wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's a Southern thing. Um, and our families were also very close. Nice. I moved a couple of hours away for college while Bella stayed home. She would come visit me frequently, stay with me, and we had great times. Sisters. Sister friends. Gotta love it. Better than sister wives. That is so true. <laughs> <laughs> Riley's like, or. Or. No, I feel like sister wives want to kill each other, but sister yeah, friends are dude, like. Yeah, that dude, that, that could get messy. Sharing that the same get, man? And that man's an idiot? Dude, that could get messy. That could get messy. Get out of here. I met Barrett, 26 male now, in econ class sophomore year, and realized that we had a lot of friends in common. He was smart and attractive guy, so we ended up hooking up a few times after study sessions. Word. Hell yeah. Biology. Ooh. Studying biology. Studying that anatomy, baby. It was fun fun, but there wasn't any really long-term chemistry, so we remained friends. We never even talked about dating. We weren't close after that, but we were on group text group text threads together and saw each other frequently at parties. Mm. I introduced Bella to Barrett at a party senior year, and it was love at first sight for her. She interrogated me about him, and I informed her of our history. She seemed pretty upset by the fact that we had hooked up, but I assured her that there was absolutely nothing romantic there, that she had my blessing to pursue him. What do we think, Riley? Good plan or not? not good plan. They just hooked up a few times, like not even a romantic date. Yeah. Basically. But but it was pretty physical. Yeah. Like they've seen each other. They've seen each other's genitals. That's true. <laughs> That's true. How can you look at a friend and know like, oh, I know how big your whatnot is. <laughs> Like if, if I saw John's whatnot, I would, he has like a really big shoe. So I would be intimidated just like walking around knowing that that monster is inside of his pants. Oh my but God. if they, if, or maybe not, and I'd be disappointed because it was just, you know, he has big feet for no reason. But yeah, if me, if I saw someone else naked and I tried to be their friend, it'd be awkward for them, not for me. Cause I'm never, yeah, I feel like it, it really depends on like, or one thing it depends on is like, what was the hookup like? Yeah. You know, there's, there's people was that doggy style. <laughs> Or just I'm missionary. Dead. I'm so dead. Was it just this plain, plain gin missionary? Yeah. Like there's people that I've hooked up with that I forgot that I ever hooked up with them. So what? Yeah. You course. can do that? <laughs> yeah. I sound like a virgin over here. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so oh, dead. Man. I'm so free. I have had bro. Before, yeah, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> just don't ask me how many times. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just, yeah, don't ask me I'm how many kidding, times. I'm just kidding. You'll be disappointed. Oh, you, you oh. think of a number in your head and divide that by two, and then minus one. <laughs> <laughs> and you might be right. I love it. And you might just be right. Don't go and guess in the comments below. Don't do that. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> but I'm going to say, I don't know. To me, it seems like OP is very like, I didn't really care, yeah. you know, and it was like kind of a whatever thing. Still, obviously not like if it was like nothing had ever happened. Obviously, that's the ideal. Yeah. But I don't know. Seems seems doable. But we will see. If you could be chill about it. Yeah. Yeah. Which but it will be hard knowing. So each other naked. That's true. And I was going to say like, oh, they're I think they're in college right now. So I was like, oh, they're in college. It was like pretty fleeting and meaningless but then also in college you're you're young and stupid mm. so you got two it's it's hard to say but again op had given the blessing to pursue him she did and after a few months they started officially dating she was over the moon and i was happy she was happy i graduated and accepted a job six hours away from home shortly afterwards bella and barrett ended up moving in together in
in my hometown. I visited them frequently at first, but life got so busy, we ended up seeing each other annually at holidays. Hmm. Seemed like they have a good relationship. Yeah, I mean, that, that it happens, you know, yeah. if, if you move away, it's tough. But last Christmas, we family hosted, uh, my family hosted a Christmas Eve party with our two families where Barrett proposed to Bella. Whoa, hey. Christmas party. There we go. Have you ever had a family member propose to someone at Christmas? Oh. Around that time? Because I actually do have a family Christmas Eve party every year. I've had someone propose on Christmas in my family. That's really dope, actually. Yeah, in front of everyone, like 40 people just right there. Honestly, was it like good? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it wasn't like at a wedding where it's like you're stealing yeah, the shine. It's like, it, honestly, that's like the perfect time because everyone's here. Everyone's like happy and holly and yeah. merry. And it's like another great thing. To, that's honestly great. I propose wait, wait are you going to do it? In, are you going to do it in private? Or are you going to do it like in public? I don't know. I'll probably do it in private. Probably private. Yeah, because like it feels like it, I'm forcing her to say yes in public. Yeah, that's true. But you should always, unless I'm like I want to marry her and I'm not sure, I'm gonna do it in public. <laughs> always get the time and place of the proposal is the surprise, but the communication about it can happen beforehand. What if you're spontaneous, dude? <laughs> what if I already got it on me? I'm just ready. <laughs> you got that thing on you. Yep, like boom, it could be anybody. That, <laughs> that you know what? You never know. You could, bro. What if we did proposing to our YouTube subscribers and we just find our YouTube subscribers? and you propose to them. Okay. Guys, would you like that? Would you like Riley just like pulling up? You're just like at a Taco Bell and then Riley's like, hey, what's up? And they're like, oh my God, it's Riley. And you're like, will you marry me? And they're like, yes. And then you get like 10 women to marry you in a day. That sounds like a headache. <laughs> <laughs> sounds God. like a great video. Oh man, 10 women. Guys, comment below. Comment below if you, if you want to see that video. And I'm talking like an IRL. If you saw the doing edibles with nail extensions video, mm. you know what the IRL type of video we're talking about. Kind of like a like documentary vlog type vibe mm -hmm. but anyways let me know if, let me know if you want that let's get a lot of comments in there so we can convince Riley to do it yay okay <laughs> now um so back uh we just had the proposal it was a heartfelt proposal and everybody was thrilled for them Bella wanted to talk about nothing but wedding planning that holiday and we had a ton of fun brainstorming ideas together Aww. there were no signs of what was to come uh, we've forgot. been so happy we've been <laughs> so great nothing but amazing news so far yeah. like she introduced them they're getting proposed. Everything is great. Big happy. But no, that's not what happens here. That's not what happens. Over the next few months, I expected to be formally asked to be Bella's maid of honor. She had mentioned this over the holidays, but the ask never came. She started screening my calls. Finally, I received a save the date in the mail and still hadn't heard from her about whether I was in the wedding. So I got her on the phone and I asked her. She told me she had thought it through and didn't think that I should be in the wedding at all because I lived so far away. Wait. Really? No, no matter how far no, away. Doesn't that's matter. Whack. That's super whack. That's crazy. That's super whack. That's fishy. Because planning, you can do, I'm sorry, like you can get, obviously it's not going to be as 100% as good if you're there in person, but 90%. I'm sorry, 90% of like the, you know, effectiveness or whatever, and you absolutely can get the job done. And then there's the rehearsal. Yeah. So And you guys are like sister friends. She's going to fly out no matter where you are. So what are we talking time. about? What are we talking about? She thought it would make coordinate bridal events too difficult. She was making her cousin, who she doesn't even like her maid of honor. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on. Uh oh. Riley, put uh -oh. on the, the good old cap, the conspiracy theory tinfoil hat. My conspiracy theory is that maybe Barrett is getting in her head mm. and brainwashing her that like, oh no, you don't need OP. Like OP shouldn't be at the wedding, mm -hmm. this, that, and the third. And we should just remove her, like, or just remove her from the, she hasn't been kicked out of the wedding yet. Mm. Just not in the bridal party. She's not involved in the ceremony, yeah. right? If that's the right way of saying. But she what said she doesn't want her at the wedding at all. Did, oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. She didn't think I should be in the wedding at all because I live so far away. I wonder, is it in the wedding, like participating in the ceremony? or like oh i see in I see. the wedding yeah that's, that's at or in the wedding Dang. yeah yeah I, but if they're that much of friends she should be in the wedding like she helped her plan it right after she got proposed like dude like it's not on. it's really not that big of a deal yeah it's really not i don't <sighs> like this i think he is plotting i am with you on this he's in the scenes plotting yeah saying all the things well let's get back to reality oops 
There goes gravity. I was pretty hurt by this. I was her closest and oldest friend. I introduced her to her fiance and was friends with him too. That's another great Come point. Come on. Another great point. You always point. have to pay respects to the people that introduce people. The the wedding toast, fire. I introduce you guys. That's literally the setup is perfect. I told her that I could get the time off work, would buy plane tickets, whatever was required of me to participate. That I didn't think it was going to be as challenging as she thought. She shrugged this off. Interesting. Instead, she directed the conversation to whether I was going to be bringing someone to the wedding. Okay, so she is for sure still going, just not participating in the ceremony. I, do the maid of honors have a big role in pre-planning the wedding? I think they oftentimes can. Okay, that's the only reason I could see like why she's making a fuss out of this. Yeah, but even still, it's like honestly, maybe other than seeing a venue, but are they really helping you get the venue? Like, yeah, I don't, I doubt it. I doubt it. I was a little confused by this question because I just had a bad breakup and she knew all all about what went down. I told her that since I wasn't seeing anybody currently that I would be attending solo. She told me that she would keep my plus one open until the last possible minute and encouraged me to try to find a date so I wouldn't be lonely. What? That's weird. I don't understand. I thought it was a nice gesture, but reassured her that with my family present and tons of mutual friends from college and our hometown that I would be fine. Yeah. The next few months passed without much incident. I didn't hear a ton from Bella. I probably could have reached out more, but I was still stinging a bit from not being asked to be in her wedding party. I also saw on social media that she had an engagement party that she had not told me about or invited me to. Dang. That's that's bad. So sad. That's tough. This also hurt, but I didn't say anything. I figured we were just growing apart. It happens. Then, six weeks prior to the wedding, I got a call from Bella. She told me that one of her bridesmaids had dropped out and that she was hoping I could fill in. What? So you were on the bench this whole time? Really? She was on, she benched you. Oh my And gosh. now she's trying to put you in when no one else will step up to the plate. So what do we do? Do we say, what do we do, Riley? Do we say yes? We wanted to be in it, but she not only kicked us out of the, the wedding party, she also didn't even tell us about, let alone invite us to the uh, bridal shower. I'm thinking of a friend right now. If they asked me to do it, I'd be like, yeah, I'm down. Because if, and I don't know anything happened in the background, I'd be like, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'd probably be. Like if Justin, our friend yeah. Justin, yes. he asked you or Sam, like, hey, my guys just ran out. Can you fill in? You'd be like, yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, of course. Yeah. Exactly. That's kind of how I feel yeah. about the scenario. But you weren't like super close with Justin. Hey, I can't think of a good sin. Think of someone good. <laughs> like if. Rex, perhaps? Rex. Yeah. Rex yep. was like, I don't know, I might be one of his groomsmen, but he's like, oh, dude, one of them dropped out. Can you fill in? I'd be like, dude, I'd be there. Yes. Even if he told you you're going to be a groomsman and then didn't make you a groomsman and then subbed you in later. Yeah, I'd be okay with it. Yeah. I'd be like, damn. I, I feel understand. like I would take it too. Yeah. yeah. It's a, this is like a lifelong friend. So... That's tough. I wouldn't be going to any of the events as those were already booked, but I would be in the wedding party. Mm. So I was thrilled and relieved and accepted immediately. Okay, so it seems like yeah. OP's like, cool, like great. She told me that she was going to do a reverse color palette for the bridal party where all of the bridesmaids and groomsmen were wearing white and she and the groom were wearing black. That didn't seem that strange. Bella had always liked to stand out and has unconventional taste. What? She apologized. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not buying that. Really? A wedding dress being black. I'm looking at one right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Black one. Let's see. Okay. The only way you could ever have a black wedding dress. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, that's kind of fire. But like, this doesn't feel like a wedding, though. This feels more like a, the, a, a funeral uh, dance. Yeah, uh, uh, what's that show? What's that show? Uh, Adam's Family. <laughs> yeah. Black wedding dresses. Me. Saw that pop up. Oh, interesting. Let's see. Wear a black wedding dress. While traditional white wedding dresses was meant to symbolize innocence, a black wedding dress De depicts elegance, power, mystery, and individuality. I mean, okay, it Loki does, you know. And it's if got that's like your friend, that little little bit of some gothy emo ish vibes, and then it's like, hey, I'm doing something different. You know, yeah. everyone, wear, I'm doing the exact opposite of everyone. I'm not just wearing not a white dress. I'm wearing a black dress, the opposite of what everyone is doing. So yeah, maybe throw throw one of those in there for the yeah, for not the buy, not buying it, not buying it, not buying it. But all right, all right, reverse. You're on board. Go on. Cool. She apologized for the late notice and asked if we could find uh, if we can find a white dress in time. I had a white slip dress already that would work and sent her a picture of it on the call to see if it would work. She verbally approved it and tagged it with a thumbs up on the text chain. This will be important later. Dude, honestly, I'd be like, hey, can you send what the other girls are wearing? Because I would like to reference. Yeah, that is a great point.
point. I also, um, I have a feeling like she's going to maybe unthumbs it or something like that. You know, when, when you, you could do a thumb up on a message and remove it. The wedding was at noon. So we were supposed to meet and do hair and makeup at the venue at 8 a.m. I left my parents' house early and arrived in my sweats with my dress in a bag and greeted Bella and the other girls. We had fun, started drinking champagne and getting ready for the big day. About two hours prior to the ceremony, Bella had told everyone to get our dresses on so we could do some pictures. I grabbed my bag and went into the bathroom to change and tweak my makeup. When I re-entered the room, every last bridesmaid was in a blue dress. I was the only one in white. (sighs) Why? Why? That's the question. Whoa. My stomach dropped. My mind raced back to the conversation I had had with Bella. She had said white, right? I hadn't misheard her. No, I was certain. And she had called out the reverse color scheme. I had Googled it. No, this was a setup. Bella was in the middle of the room in a bathrobe and a resigned look on her face. She said to her cousin, I told you she was going to do something like this. <gasps> no. Oh my God. What the heck? You are shitting me. That's insane. What? Insane. Oh my God. Her cousin approached me and asked what I was wearing. I mumbled that Bella had told me to wear white. Bella didn't even blink. She stared back and huffed out a laugh and said something about how, of course, I would have to make today all about me. <gasps> the cousin started screaming at me, going off on me about how I was jealous in love with Barrett and how completely unhinged I was. What the heck? Yo, what is happening? Something Whoa. is. Okay, we got to throw. Oh my gosh, get a red flag <laughs> out. Gotta, this oh, this dude. is already past the red All flag. Right. You're right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Red flag, red flag. I mean, clear, clear, clear red flag of like she gaslit lit and, and planned this whole thing. Yeah. To destroy her. But also I got to switch into boom, a tinfoil hot conspiracy mode. What do you think happened here? Oh, like she planned it. She somehow. But why? Hates her. I don't, I don't know why she hates her. There, I mean, the, oh, oh, the hookup. The hookup? With Barrett. You're right. That's the only thing. You're, you're that absolutely right. That is so stupid. Right. They hooked up a few times in college and she was fine with it, but she can't get over it. Wow. Why can't she get over it? Why is she doing this? What is going on? That's why. I honestly, I also think maybe Barrett has something oh, 100%. to do with this. I wonder what if it's like Barrett keeps saying, oh man, you know, you should really work out. Like I see OP like working out, you know, kind of like dropping hints and in Instead of appropriately taking her anger out on Barrett and being like, why would you say things like that? Why would you compliment her and do all these things, you know, be mm. be a skis ball and instead is directing her anger towards OP like the girls like when or just anyone when someone cheats on you, you don't get mad at the partner that cheated. You get mad at the person they who, cheated with. Che- who they cheated with. And it's like, that, I mean, yes, uh, if they knew, but that like the that you're getting wrong at the per- the wrong person. Yeah, exactly. Like. Like, like, let's 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 attack it at the source right here. But let's get back to reality. Honestly, I froze in that moment. I was so spun around about how fast everything went from great to crap. I couldn't even find the words to defend myself. Eventually, I stammered out that I had another dress at my parents' house and I could go home and change. Bella said something like, I think we both know that this is the end of our friendship. I've given you too many chances. It's time for you to go. What? What? She's just making up stuff right now. What do you mean too many chances? What chances? I started to cry. I didn't know what was happening or what she was talking about, but I knew that whatever was going down was really bad. Finally, my legs started to work again and I fled. I left all of my things at the venue and just ran to my car and went home sobbing in the white dress. Oh, oh my God. About half an hour later, my phone blew up. Texts from nearly everyone in my life telling me that I was bitter, that I was an expletive, that I needed to grow up and get over my jealousy, asking how I could do that to Bella. Whoa. And now she's just telling the story to everyone. I think given that the, you know, she was called an or that OP spread a lie that she 
was cheating mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with Barrett. Which, once again, if that is the case, why isn't everyone blowing up Barrett's phone? Yeah. Like, that is... Oh. They don't know. They probably don't know about all this stuff. About, like, she was like... I, well, I'm, I'm... Again, we're still, like, I'm theorizing. Yeah. But what if Bella spread this rumor that, like, oh, they cheated? Or, you know what? Maybe she spread a rumor that was, like, she tried to get at Barrett. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not that they were actually hooking up together, but OP came and was like, hey, Barrett, how you doing, baby? You want to get with me? Yeah. And Barrett was like, oh my gosh, no way. I, I, got, I got my woman. I got Bella. I don't need you. And that was the story. <laughs> And scene Emmy Award winning acting there, ladies and gentlemen. Get John Fry. used to it. That's me, That's baby. Him. Even my mother sent me a text telling me how disappointed she was in oh. me and that we'd talk when they got home. Yeah, I, I totally think Bella spread some sort of rumor. A hundred percent. hundred percent. I did what any rational person would do in that situation. Broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and got drunk. <laughs> Yikes. Never drink sad. Yeah, that's not a great combo, I will admit. As a result, the conversation when my parents finally arrived home was somewhat confused. My dad wouldn't even look at me, and my mom and I kept talking past each other. She outright didn't believe that I had been told to wear a white dress, and I didn't understand why. Okay, I'm like, I'm waiting to hear the rumor that yeah. was spread. If that's all this was about, I'm gonna, I mean... Flip a table. Yeah, low-key, low-key. Then finally, she said something like, because of everything else that happened, and I was like, what are you talking about? What does that mean? And she said, you know, your ultimatums to Bella. Whoa. Called it. Called it. Shh. Bella has been plotting. Yes. Oh, plotting some, plotting some dirty, dirty deets. All capital. All caps. The next few hours revealed the truth. Over the last several months, Bella had been building a fiction with nearly everyone in my life. <sighs> That I am <laughs> mentally unstable and madly in love with Barrett. You like my, I'm eating my yawns? Yeah, nah, yeah. dude, nah, nah, yeah, nah. I'm do. trying to go to sleep. I'm trying to go to sleep. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. It's just my, I'm awake, but my yawn. I need so much oxygen. Like, I have energy right now. You, I do have energy, but my fat noggin sucks on oxygen. <laughs> like... The yawning's helping. All right. All right. I believe No, it. I hate yawning. I, I want to take my yawns and... Do you like the sneeze? Ground. Sneeze? No. Some people like this sneezing sensation. It's cool. I'd give it a give it a solid six or seven out of ten. Yeah. Sometimes it's relieving. Mm. Fair enough. Not as relieving as what's happening to OP right now. That's true. Okay, go on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. She had concocted a web of outlandish tales and systematically poisoned my family and friends against me. Wow. My boyfriend apparently dumped me because of my feelings for Barrett. <gasps> Lie. He cheated and I dumped him. Oh, oh, so that's what Bella said. Yeah, but yeah, the real yeah, yeah. truth You're is like, no, it's true. Oh, oh my gosh. We all, they almost got Riley. <laughs> I told Bella that she needs to, ch I told Bella. And again, I think this is the, you know, the fake. Oh, story. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. I told Bella that she needs to choose between me and Barrett. Never happened. I told Bella that I couldn't be in the wedding party because I couldn't support her marriage. Given that Barrett was meant for me. Lie. I had a major meltdown before the engagement party. And that's why I wasn't on there on and on lies on top of lies. That's crazy. Yeah. Why didn't the parents call her? Check up on her if this is all they know. That is such a great question. Or, or were they just revealed this information? If they already knew they should have called. If they just got revealed this information, totally makes sense. For months to friends and family. So I think you're right. I think mm. that the parents probably knew at least before that night at a bare minimum, maybe not months and months before. But yeah. Yeah. It's like, why? Like, go and talk to your daughter. Yeah. Earlier. You know, it's crazy that no one said anything. I know. I reached out been like, hey, you good? Everything's all right. Why, why are you fake what? friends? Fake. Fake friends. Gotta let them let them let them know when they're when they're slipping, when mm -hmm. they're when they're lacking. That's true. In all of these stories, Bella has painted herself as the patient, long suffering friend trying to deal with a friend clearly going through a tough time. She expressed understanding for my unrequited love for Barrett and empathized with how hard it must be for her for me to see her marry the love of my life and had made great efforts to try to sustain our friendship despite how complicated situation is. The lie has been going on so long, my mom literally did not believe me. Finally, I grabbed my phone and handed it to her and told her to go through my text messages with Bella, asking her to show me any evidence of any of that happening. It was when she was scrolling, reading through our messages that she saw the picture of the white dress I had sent to Bella with her thumbs up on it. Receipts. The smoking thumb. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man. I had completely forgotten about it. Oh, that's great. So yeah, OP, I mean, because wow. if someone thumbs up a message, you don't remember that months later. Yeah. Right. So like she OP stumbled upon this amazing piece of evidence. This is great. The absence of any ultimatums or Barrett drama in our text and the picture of the improved dress flipped my mom. She finally believed me. She was horrified that she bought into a false narrative. She called my dad into the room and explained what was what. My dad isn't the type of person you want to piss off. I have one skill. What is it? Liam Neeson. Oh. Taken. I thought you were going to do the Ratatouille thing. Like, once killed a man with this stuff. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have is a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare. People like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you and I will kill you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is Opie's dad. <laughs> Fun fact, I did this monologue in eighth grade to audition for a theater play. Really? And Dude. I did really bad and I did another monologue and my teacher was like, this monologue is four times better than the one you did at the audition. That I was is like, so funny. It's also hilarious. An eighth grade Riley reading is like, I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> that was me, dude. That was me. Yeah. Dude, you and Opie's dad? Dude, two peas in a pod two right peas there. In a pod. You, mean, and you. Opie's and you, dad. You just killed, you killed that. And me and Liam Neeson. Dude, dude all of us. All four, four of us. All just pod. buds. <laughs> Freaking buds, bro. Oh my God. We had to spend significant energy trying to calm him down so he didn't walk next door and rip the house from the foundation. Ooh. Let's go, daddy. My mom still says that I'm a bit of an because I should have never assumed that I could wear white to someone's wedding. Called it. Okay. Called it. We're going to super quick pause right here. Everyone in the comments below. If somebody asks you to wear white to a wedding, are you the a-hole? I say no. I They asked you. Are you kidding? Riley, I ask you. <laughs> Hey, but hey, man, I'm parched. I, you know, we've been recording long. I, you know, I don't want to be a burden on you. It's, it's down, our fridge is downstairs. Could you run downstairs and grab me an ice cold glass of water? And you say, sure thing, man. Yeah, You're my bud. I, I got, I got you. you, man. Let me do this. You, you run downstairs. You get the nice, frothiest, iciest, coldest, most beautiful glass of water ever. I come and I slap that shit out of your hands. Get that out of my face. I don't want water. Why would you think that? That's exactly. <laughs> no. Yes. No, that's, that's not exactly the what this is. Let yes, me, it is. Let let me tell you another <laughs> Fine. Go. Go. I Give me your mind. stupid scenario. I already pitched it to you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we won't go there. But. but let's say it's a taboo not to wear a wedding dress. It totally is a taboo a white, to, a white to, dress to, to, to wear a, a white dress. You're, you're totally right. It's taboo, though. That's but if they tell you to, to do it and she says, like, hey, I'm going to wear a black dress, so we're going to do this whole... I mean, that is very believable. What else is one? It's sort of like if a baby tells you, hey, I want my, want my room to be painted yellow. Mm -hmm. Do you paint it yellow whenever you know it's bad for babies? Right. Like, Daddy, I want you to change my name to Spider-Man. And you're like, you're telling me that now, but <laughs> you don't want to be called Spider-Man Jones your whole life. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I just... People who don't know what they want, yeah. but then ask for it. Yeah. I'm not buying it. <sighs> There is, a, there is another metaphor the I pitched to him earlier and he agrees with me on it <laughs> and he's just fine me right now. But I, I I am still not there. If they explicitly ask for it. Okay. What do you think? What do you guys think? Guys, you're going to have to settle this because I will not give in. I will not give in. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. Riley says is the a-hole. Yeah. You decide. You let us know. I'm with the mom. That I should have confirmed it with the other bridesmaids about what they were wearing. And that was part of my job as a member of the bridal party. Fine. I own that. No, I hate that. But whatever. We'll, we'll keep reading. <laughs> she knows she's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't change the fact that I never meant to hurt Bella. And she has been setting me up for this epic fail for months. Hmm. The next day, hungover on multiple levels. I sent screenshots of the call history with Bella and the photo of the approved dress to multiple people. Unfortunately, this is where my occupation works against me. I am a graphic designer. God. And people believe that I photoshopped the image. Oh. Now, see, that's what's that's that's where we're headed because Photoshop has already ruined a lot. With AI, it's just going to be like, oh, you AI'd this image. You AI'd this image. Do screen record your phone then or do something where yeah, you're AI, like, hey. Again, in the future, like you'll be able to tell like, hey, chat GPT, create a video of my phone showing that I got a thumbs up text from Bella on the dress. AI will eventually be able to do that for us. Yeah, but that, that's not now though. She could have her mom record her going through the screen or doing whatever. Again, I would do whatever possible to let people know I did not Photoshop AI, this. 
tell, make a photo of my mom. Like, <laughs> it'll be, it'll happen. It'll it happen. It will eventually. happen, but not now. Not today, not today. But we're on Photoshop. So Opie says, trust me, if I was going to Photoshop some proof of it, it would have been a hell of a lot more compelling than someone liking an image. Word. That's, a, that's a good defense. That's a good point. That's a good defense. So pretty much nobody believes me except my mom, dad, and one of the other bridesmaids, one of Bella's friends from college that I don't know well. She was there during the dress incident and she found me on social media and DM'd me that she could tell from the stunned look on my face that I was telling the truth. Aww. That's cute. I'm glad she got some support there. Yeah. She said that Bella had a pretty bad case of COVID at the beginning of the year. And ever since that, she's changed as a person, becoming cruel <laughs> and self-absorbed. What? Yo, COVID did this to her. What? Dude, what? She what? got the COVID and became What's a horrible happening? person. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what? Be- I, it I'm changed lost. her brain chemistry. You know what? I, it dude. can do that to you. Brain fog, she still has it. Dude, I'm sorry. What is happening right now? <laughs> you know what? I think COVID did change her in a way where she was stuck with Barrett for a long amount of times and was feeding off of his horrible personality. Okay, Riley. I'll give him that. You're going to have to give me 60 seconds and it'll all pay off. Just, I'm going to be right back. Okay, he has something. Oh, boy. Look what you're making me do, Bella. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Look what you're making me do. I have. There's no way I can handle this sober. Bro, okay? got a cold one. Cheers to you, monster. Okay, this is. Yeah, get a good sip. <sighs> yeah. No free sponsors, though. No labels. No free sponsors. It's the only way I can finish this story right now. <laughs> this is too crazy. This is crazy. Uh, she said that the wedding events had been horrific and Bella was a monster and she was planning on going no contact now that it was done. Wow. That's pretty. I mean, it seems like Bella is showing her true character now. Yeah. This is so crazy. So that's three people out of hundreds who don't think I'm an a-hole. Everyone else does. My reputation destroyed. My life in tatters. I don't think I'm the a-hole, but I submit myself to Reddit's judgment. And y'all, we have some relevant comments coming up. Oh, wait, I am. I am interested. If this were to happen to you, how do you have a comeback? Like people, mm. they plotted against you, said you were this horrible mm. person and all your friends, except for three, which I'm one of them and Naima and hopefully Sam, you can maybe throw Sophia in there. Who knows about her? <laughs> but you guys can, us three are the only ones that believe you. <sighs> yeah. What do you say to the hundreds of others that you are not a horrible person? <sighs> what a great dude. Riley's producing today. What a great, what a great question. What a great premise. I definitely would want to clear my name. Yeah. I don't think I would just sit down and throw my hands up, at least to the people that I care about. And I'm like, yo, this is this is not it. So she, we've already sent the text with the thumbs up emoji. There's one simple solution. What is it? I want to hear yours, but there's one simple solution in my head. Hmm. I mean, it's hard because like you could share the whole text thread, but like that might be like overload. I don't know. What, what is your grand You go plan? on TikTok. Oh. You confess. This, this is a Reddit story. You're right. Think of the virality. So what? You got hundreds of people that you know against you. Think of the millions that would be on your side and then harass those people for saying that you are a liar or that you are this horrible person. You are totally right. Do a nice, a nice thick TikTok where you break down all the evidence and share all the Mm -hmm. points. Do your makeup while you're doing it. People love that. You'll have millions of people on your side. Then launch a career as a content creator. Wow. That's the only solution. Wow. Then reach out to OKOP and be like, hey, OK Studios, I want to start a new show. Yep. And then we're like, uh, fire, let's do it. Let's run it up. Wow. Yeah, that's the only solution here. A, a plus plus, <laughs> Riley. Standing <laughs> ovation. That's amazing. Well, we do have some relevant comments, so let's get into them. Did Barrett maybe say something about having feelings for you that you did not reciprocate? It's possible, I guess, but I'm not aware of any incidents. I think perhaps this has more to do with Bella's cousin putting poison in her ear about me than Barrett actually having feelings for me. But that is just a gut instinct I don't actually know. Mm. And where's Barrett in all of this? Great question. You said he was your friend, so it seems odd that he would watch his bride attempt to ruin your life for the fun of it. Mm. The first time I saw him after last Christmas was at the rehearsal the night before the wedding. I gave him a hug and congratulated him and expressed how excited he must be, and we talked about my drive up and how some of our mutual friends' flights had been canceled. It was entirely benign. Bella was talking to somebody else, and I greeted her a bit later. I never saw him the day of the wedding because because I didn't make it that far. I had no idea what he makes of all of this, but I have to imagine that he's been poisoned to believe that I'm some deranged stalker as well. Mm. I haven't reached out to him because I'm worried doing so will add fuel to Bell's narrative. If your parents were at the engagement party, why didn't you tell them you weren't invited? 
my parents were not at the engagement party. My understanding was that it was more of a friend's engagement party than a familial one, which that kind of low key makes sense. It's yeah. kind of like you wouldn't you wouldn't invite your friends to the um, this is what the bridal shower, the uh, what's what's the night, the bachelorette party, right? You're not inviting your freaking Mima over to. No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, going, going crazy. Woo! Can't come. <laughs> But they did know it happened, and I do think they expected me to come home for it. There was a lot of miscommunication between my mom and I. Um, my parents have pretty low emotional intelligence and are uncomfortable with emotions and drama, so they didn't pry too deeply. My mom asked questions like, so Bella told me a little bit about what's going on. Are you okay? And I would assume she was talking about my cheating ex, where my mom was actually talking about my unrequited love, quote unquote, for Barrett. Interesting. That's like a cartoon that they did like like they're talking about two separate things it's like oh wacky what are the odds we were actually talking about the other thing but it all makes sense that we didn't find out no no this is not seinfeld okay this is real mother flipping life yeah all right golly looking back there was a few things my mom said that confused me but i didn't seek clarity at the time which i guess i guess it can happen whatever <laughs> it's, it's too much it's too like sitcom -y <laughs> yeah to happen in real life for me in response to more questions on that thread so if they expect you to come home for it, why do they never ask you about your plans to attend and when you would be home? I wish I could answer your question, but I genuinely do not know the timelines for my end. I don't know what my parents knew when the party invites went out, when my parents were told by Bella that I couldn't handle going. All of this happened without me knowing about it, so I just don't know. Trust me, the fact that my parents thought all of the stuff was going on with me and didn't properly talk to me about it has been difficult to swallow. Mm. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's it's like Yo, why why didn't they tell me any of this before? Yeah. You know, another question from a commenter. Also, how is it that as you're getting ready at the venue, you never see her wedding dress or talk about the flipped colors for the wedding until it's time for the bridesmaids to get dressed? I was boxed out of all the other wedding events except for the rehearsal, with which lasted about 30 minutes. I was never really put on group texts about the wedding, which I thought was owed to my last minute involvement. It is truly like a sitcom plot, how yeah. Because there were so many opportunities for it to be revealed of like Bella's evil plan, like accidentally slipping through the cracks and it didn't. Yeah. My mind is blown. F you, Bella. This is crazy. Dresses were in garment bags and put on a rack. At one point, her bridal gown was removed from the room to be steamed. I don't think it was back yet when it all went down, which is why she was still in a robe, right? Because remember, she was in a robe. She was waiting. At the, yeah, dude. She was just like, mm -hmm, my time has come. <laughs> I won't waste my final form it's like on a villain you. robe. My understanding was that she wanted all of the photos of us helping her get dressed, which was why we were getting dressed first. Now I suspect the timing was intentional. I, you know, Riley, what? I don't want to say it. Say it. I don't want to say it. Say it. You got to give her a little game recognized game because the, Bella is great at being evil. She is amazing at pulling off a evil twisted mastermind plan. I mean, this was well thought out. It worked flawlessly. Yeah, it really like like I could see all the steps that she placed and it went perfectly to plan to get there. And, <laughs> and she really put all the pawns in all the right yeah. places on the board. All the other friends. No one believes her. No one said anything about it until the piece de resistance, the climax of yeah. her walking out with a white dress on. Okay, if she did all this, the reason why should be as equally as impressive as the stunt she pulled. Yes, which so far, it's not at all. Yeah. I got, I got COVID again. What? Stop. It's like you had fireworks at like your kindergarten presentation. <laughs> and that's why you're an asshole? Yeah. Like Bella does like all this like, extravagant stuff for just a small reason. Makes no sense. It's so... St and did she execute it brilliantly? Gosh darn it. I, you gotta... Yeah, yes. you gotta give it to her. But like... She did execute that, but... The reason why she did it is what I'm like... And, and what she's doing. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Come on. I'll give it to you. She she killed it. She she, <laughs> she did execute it. Okay, I gotta give her that. You, you can't not, unfortunately. I was the only person who thought there was a flipped color palette, so I don't know why that would have come up in conversation. We talked about a lot of stuff, but wedding colors did not come up. Mm. Another comment. It seems like both you and your parents are poor communicators. Dang. Duh. And Bella relied on you not reaching out to her or her parents, the other bridesmaids, or your parents to ask about wedding plans, which kind of my same thought. Mm, yeah, but she 
she did wait till the last minute to ask her. Kind of a fluster, yeah, but it was six you're right. weeks you're right. beforehand. That's enough well, time. Even like a few days before, I feel like you could be like, oh, hey, did you get your white dress, you know, to one of the other bridesmaids? And they'd be like, huh? Like there's still, yeah. still mm. plenty of time, I yeah. think. Opie says, yeah, dot, dot, dot. My relationship with my parents is dot, dot, dot. Well, I think I need a whole additional am I the a-hole post for that. It's complicated. Nice. Oh, oh, this update is huge. Okay, here we go. Also, this is right below this. There is no judgment bot, but most comments were not the a-hole or just confused and asking for info. Okay, so it's not specifically mm. talking about... No, no, no. It is specifically talking about the white dress. Yeah. Vindication! She's not the a-hole? Vindication! That's, I believe, what they're saying, what they're the voting The circumstances, on. she's not the a-hole, but for her wearing the right dress, she just... She's not the a-hole, but she just should have known better. <laughs> No, she should not have because she yeah. was told to wear a white dress. She was told. I will die on this hill. I will too. We'll die together, dude. Hand in hand, <laughs> locked. Our eyes gazing deep into each other's souls as the sweet abyss takes us. Damn. I really got a picture from that. <laughs> right? I, there's an image in my head and I can't get it out of it. Now it's just a poster on my wall. Oh, yeah. We need, we need to make that. Oh. Do you guys want to OPOK? What am I saying? Okay, OK, 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 OP calendar. Yeah, with, we talked about uh, it earlier with, with maybe some fun shots of, uh, of your boys and girls in it. Uh, well, what? That sounded crazy. Uh, I, I mean, like <laughs> some silly like, ooh, look at us. We're having fun. Look at us. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't that came out so wrong. But anyways, do you want a calendar like that? Because we threw out the idea when we were chatting today. And if yeah. you guys want it, you guys also want some beanies, beanies, beanies. Riley's on fire. beanies. I, you know what I'm on? Blankets. Ooh. I feel like, listen, you listen, y'all. You get a big, giant, fuzzy, freaking cozy blanket and you're listening. To, okay, come on. Come I mean, on. Dang. anyways. And a lot of you guys listen to us when you go to sleep. Why not be That's true. comforted in our name? In our big blankets. In our big blankets. Listening to Riley's 10 hour Reddit stories video. Yep. Why you do that? Well, let's know in the comments if that, uh, that appeals to you. Peaks your fancy at all. Peaks your fancy. Uh, maybe if we get like a booty ton of comments, we'll pick the first one and work on that. Ooh. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. But, you know, we we have Riley. What do we got? A big old update, ladies and gentlemen. Dude. Let's get into it. January 16th, 2024, almost two months later. Dude, that was like seven days ago. That was. I have gone back and forth about updating my post. If you read my update, hopefully you will understand why. For safety reasons, this will likely be my one and only update. Before I get started, I want to address a question a lot of commenters had about my parents. A lot of people are questioning why my mom would hear all that stuff stuff about me and not check in on or comfort me yeah. or confront me. It's because I'm an apostate. Um, a person who renounces a religious or political belief or principle. Ah, so she, so OP renounced. Yeah, renounced her religion. Person who forsakes his religion cause party. Right. Oh, it's someone who like forsakes and leaves oh. a religion. Maybe like apostle, apostate. She might, I don't know what religion she's a part of, but probably like Christianity or Mormon. We don't know yet. Yeah, yeah. who knows? Biblical, she says biblical. Yeah, dang. She, I would say Mormon. She was a Mormon. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good, I, I think that's a, last year I left my religion my parents raised me in, which Bella is still involved in. So she has superior credibility. Interesting. My politics also different. From where my mom and dad sat, I was a sinner capable of any act of evil because I turned my back on biblical principles. Assume that the broader religious community in this town believes the same of me. Despite this, I have a relationship with my parents. I'm an only child. They are my only family. But there was a strain and distance there. For example, I did not tell my parents a lot about my breakup because of the circumstances of that would reinforce some of my parents' worst beliefs about me. It's also the reason and I haven't been home in the last year. It is also one of the reasons I assumed things were strained between Bella and I in the last year. Mm. I didn't bring it up because as everybody wanted to point out, my post was already too dang long. And this one will be too. Sorry. Don't apologize, OP. We, we are here. Stories. We want to hear everything and uh, anything that you want to vent off your chest. We are here to read it. And so are the lovely OK fam. I would have guessed that the events of the wedding would strain my relationship with my parents further, but unexpectedly, it has brought us closer. Hmm. I think of my parents' strong opinions of me were more about how they felt me leaving the church would ultimately reflect on them in the community. But now that the community has rallied against me and the worst has happened, they've circled the hurt. They've waged a holy war in their church on my behalf in the last couple of months. It's weirdly cemented that my parents actually do care about me despite our differences 
differences as people. That's kind of it's almost like when the quote unquote worst has happened to you. It's like, where can we go from here? We've already been through again the quote unquote or what someone perceives as the worst thing together. And now we see that you're in the right on this. So we might as well ride for you, especially when someone else is coming after you. Yeah. You know, that isn't my my baby girl. So in that regard, this awful event has been a blessing. A lot of the awkwardness between us from the last year has faded and it really feels like they've chosen a side and that side is me. Aww. That's sweet. We had a great holiday together. So in that way, I'm glad this happened. On to the updates. In the immediate aftermath of the wedding and post, I did as many people suggested and sent a screen recording of my text messages. That's what with I was thinking. Bella. That's exactly. I think I'm going to say that. Your idea was better, though, because if you do like a TikTok version of it and oh, really, yeah. you know, get it, if you get that editing, you know, that sauce on it. You could really, you know what it is? Like a mini documentary. It really it's is. It's a short form documentary. And listen, you watch a documentary, you're like, this real. <laughs> it's documentaries be crazy. Dude, you can have part two later. This is part two. Exactly. Yes, you can add a part two. There's so many things. Oh my God. All of them, the messages from Bella, uh, going back months to counter her narrative that I was unstable and explaining my side of the story. There were three camps that emerged as a result. First, my high school friends. Most of them are religious and had been extensively brainwashed by Bella. None took my side except for the one bridesmaid who had already contacted me. Mm. Next were the college friends closer to me. None of them had heard Bella's whisper campaign and accept the evidence immediately. Several of them told me that they had never really liked Bella and mm. she had crap talked me behind my back. Yeah, so they're like, okay, we know what's good Yeah, with Bella. She's crazy. This was news to me, but also a relief because these are the relationships I most don't want to lose and it looks like I won't. That's good, great. Good. The college friends who are closer to Barrett just didn't really care. A lot of the guys are the classic dude bros that are drama adverse, so I'm not shocked that they aren't relishing the chance to wade through and litigate the evidence. Loki, <laughs> this I this so feels like something my girlfriend and I would come to me like, you need to hear this. Yeah. This is what's going down and I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I would be, I would be actually be like, that that actually is insane. And yeah, this Bella chick is wild. But I mean, again, there's just something different when you're in the girl group, when you're in the girl group yeah. that's involved in all this, you know, no hostility coming from these people, but no support either. I can live with that. Bella's nuclear and extended family I have given up on. When I was back for Christmas, I tried to go over to speak to Bella's parents who were like parents to me also, and they refused to even open the door. I left a metal. I, le I left a letter in their mailbox. It went unacknowledged. Hmm. In general, things settled down into a new normal and just focused on my life and my work and trying to move forward. I went home for the holidays and just hung out with my parents. Life was okay. Nice. And that's the end of the story. Just kidding. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Don't be a fool. Because OP says that January 1st, I signed into an older email account that I haven't used in a while to reset a password. In the spirit of New Year digital housekeeping, I started going through old messages intending to close Close this account for good. When I saw an email from my ex with the subject line, I win. What? Remember the cheating ex that was loosely tangentially mentioned? Yeah. In the beginning of the oh, story. Oh, that one. I thought we were talking about Barrett. Okay. No. The cheating. Yeah, the cheating ex. Interesting. I cannot describe the gut punch that I felt when I saw that email. I froze up just now writing about it. My ex, let's call him Matthew, was the perfect boyfriend until he wasn't. <laughs> he became extremely controlling after the first year of our dating. He wanted to control control what I wore, what I ate, who I talked to, who I connected with, and what I posted on social media, etc., etc. He was very cunning and nuanced with the way he tore me down slowly over time. But then he slipped up. I found out he was cheating and I woke up enough to get out of there. Dang. The breakup was a living nightmare. He was refusing to quote unquote allow me to break up with him. We were living together. He installed tracking software on my phone and bugged my car. He had people at my job reporting to him on my movements. I could not get away from him. I couldn't hide. He just kept showing up. He held my dog hostage. The police were useless because he was never physically violent and was careful not to write his threats down. I was in absolute hell for months living under the terror that he would show up again. I had changed my job, my number, my address, my email account, my social profiles, or private. This was the one place I forgot 
to block him. Wow. The I win email was sent the day after the wedding. He said that he had become close with Bella after we broke up. He called himself the architect of my demise. He said that he had fed Bella's paranoia about me and Barrett and that together they had planned my punishment. I knew COVID was not the reason. <laughs> I, I was like, really? You got COVID and then you're like, oh, I want to ruin this. But no, you don't just like get a fever and become Scrooge. Like, yeah. Uh, Ebony's are Scrooge. Yeah, like, I know what you mean. Yeah. It's not, it, it doesn't <laughs> work quite like that. Interesting. So around the COVID time, she must have, he must have like been like, yo, let's do something. Just completely plotting to destroy her life. He said, losing everyone important in my life was what I deserve. And that, and then he said, we should get back together. You have no one else, but I can be your else. We can hang out. Wow. What a great plan to get her. <sighs> what, what a great plan to win her back and make her want you. D uh, what? Unless I wanted more unfortunate things like this to keep happening. Yes, he is a delusional prick. Wow. It took me a while to collect myself and get my shit together after reading that. I fell apart for a few days. My mom helped me pull back together and now knows the details about what happened with Matthew. She connected me with a family friend, an attorney that is currently helping me file for an, a restraining order against Matthew. Good! Good! God! But couldn't afford an attorney and was the Denied. Oh, dang. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh. That is awful. I think the email evidence and the attorney saying things the right way, it will be granted this time, but the hearing is not for a couple of weeks. It is on Zoom and Matthew will get a chance to be on there. I am terrified to see him even just on a screen. If you read this, Matthew, realize that I am not so terrified that I won't tase the F out of you if you ever come near me again. Ugh. Tell him. Ugh. Tell him. Take that, Matthew. Poop in your face. Once I had dealt with my own safety, I had the realization that I wasn't in possession of absolute proof that the wedding incident was a setup. I considered blasting it out everywhere, but I still have so much shame about being in an abusive relationship Oh, and cannot bring myself to do it. So I just decided to forward it to Barrett with a small amount of explanation. That is a smart, that, that's a smart move. That's a smart move. Barrett did not respond to the email. I do not know what happened in Bella and Barrett's household after that, but what I do know is that two nights later, Bella drew drunk drove her car to my parents' house. While attempting to park in their driveway, she ran over the mailbox. Riley, what is happening? I have an okay story, Tom. <laughs> oh no, what is happening here? When my parents answered the door, she started screaming about how I'm a home wrecking sleut. In her drunken rambles, my parents were able to figure out that Barrett had left her. Oh, <gasps> Yo, she clapped back. Oh, she clapped back. Yo, oh. she's psycho. Honestly, she's crazy. This makes sense. Good for her. You know, no, honestly, I'm not like happy about this. What? I feel Why like are you not happy about this. I know Bella was insane. Now, I know Bella ruined her life, but and like it's still not an excuse in the slightest. But the fact that the cheating ex was was brainwashing her this whole time and probably feeding her the same way that Bella is feeding people all these lies and then they turned against OP. The cheating ex was feeding all of the Matthew was che was feeding all of these lies to Bella. Probably. I don't know. She she, she still went over the line. Went over the line. Should not have coerced with Bella. Like or yeah, she, Bella should not have coerced with Matthew whatsoever. That's true. Because yeah, we she she said that she knew like she told her about him, I believe. Yeah, and that like if he was behind if Matthew was behind it and it was something over I don't know why yeah. Bella was in it if it was religious reasons or because OP was with Barrett those are still like not good causes yeah. to do pull this stunt like she's psycho bro Bella is psycho good for Barrett for figuring that out yeah I mean honestly I'm happy that I think Bella is psycho and I think it was is good that at a bare minimum maybe if he was like hey we need time apart or something because this is like a lot that I'm realizing about you but leave her man that's crazy I don't know I, he probably sees a lot of red flags. Yeah, he's like this is the last one. I don't know. Her parents were called over from next door to collect their drunk daughter. My dad said that they seemed extremely embarrassed. Mm. I know a lot of people will probably be fist pumping the air that Bella met with some karma, as Riley was. I am not one of them. Like John is. Like me. Dude, me and OP. 
I get you, OP. Matthew is a monster, and I know firsthand how charming and convincing he is. Bella, much like I did, fell for his act. Her happiness has been destroyed by Matthew, too, and I have a really hard time blaming her now that I know he was pulling the strings. But she also made her choices. That is absolutely yep. true. I'm not dumb enough to reconcile with her either. My number one priority is my safety, and anybody who has ties to Matthew is somebody I need to stay far away from. That is facts. Bella will have to find her own path back to good. There is a role that opened up on my team in another country. It's a manager position, which would be a promotion for me. And my boss thinks that I should apply. Yo. Well, it would be harder for me with even more distance from my folks. I think being in an entirely new country might help cultivate a new feeling of safety for me. One that I'm not sure I can get in the city now. So that might be what's next for me. Good for you. I don't really know how to end this properly. I'm just tired. Thanks for the support, Reddit. I probably won't sign into this account again. Damn. Thing. That great timing. Wow. With the with the with the job offer. <laughs> Dude. Yikes. Dude, that's crazy. That is insane. Crazy. Ooh, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta catch my breath. Yeah, that, that was a was, big story. That was a crazy saga. I'm glad for OP's vindication. Yes. I am getting out of there. I'm at least glad that Barrett is kind of removing himself. You know, divorce may be a little strong, but yeah, I don't, I, you know, She's, at least he's getting out of that. OP is 26. Yeah. It's a new year. Going to a new country. Horrible things that happened in the past, but you have a really interesting future ahead of you. Yeah. A this is this is truly what also what a random coincidence yeah. that she has a promotion bringing her to an entirely new place that she could you know feel good feel safe in yeah start a new leaf yeah kind of like for how terrible the scenario is close to the best case outcome again considering yeah. everything that happened stars are aligning stars are aligning hopefully things are looking up for op oh in the um, interview do you think she would be like hey I really need this look at this Reddit post and then just show him the Reddit post and be like yeah well, you got it if if what sorry if she she goes to the job interview and says, you have no idea how bad I need this. Yes. Shows in the Reddit post and they're like, you got the job, girl. Yeah. Hope, I mean, hopefully so. I would do that. I'd be like, I'm going to work my butt off more than anyone and I need this. Like, yeah. look. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. It. Here's why I'm doing this. Yeah. yeah. Totally, totally. That's what I would do. Woo. That's well, crazy. That was, that was good. I think we had some some quick okay story times. We do. Yes. Removing thumbs up. Okay. So real quick. So a big plot line of the story was the thumbs up on the message about the dress, you know, basically the, the smoking thumb that the the that Bella had told her to get the dress, right? Um, so there was a unnamed OKOP sponsor that um we were doing this thing for, and they had told us it was like an in-person deal, and they had told us, like, oh, be at this place at X time, or we had thought that that was the case. So we pretexted one person on the team, like, oh, should we be here at 3 30? And they had the thumbs up on the text, right? So we're like, Bet we're good. We're straight. <laughs> we'll we'll leave at three. So we'll be there like early in plenty plenty of time. And then so it's maybe like 2.40 or something like that. And they're like, hey, when are you getting over? And I think we were even like leaving even earlier. And they're like, hey, when are you guys going to get here? And we're like, oh, we'll be there at 3.30. Like we're actually leaving a little early. And they're like, no, you're supposed to be here at 2.30, not 3.30. And we were like, um, no, because like that's not it. And then, so this is going in a separate group chat. We go to the original group chat with me, Sam, and this other person, and they had removed the thumbs up from the thing. And I think it happened as we were looking at it, too. That's like, insane. Me and Sam had That's insane. Me and Sam were legit oh my looking gosh. at that group chat, dog, <laughs> and the thumbs up <laughs> disappeared. And we were like, I can see Sam's face right now just being like, oh my God. So I was pissed because I thought we had like OP, the smoking thumb. Yeah. Taken away from us. Dang. Taken away from us, bro. And you don't, and you don't even think to screenshot it. You just you don't, you don't. because you're, you're just like, like, it's there. It's there. And, it's, and the fact that they went back and took it away. <laughs> like we both, it's so crazy. We had a parallel invention or whatever. We had the same exact idea at the same exact time, but with the opposite, you know, she's like, oh, they're like, oh, I got to remove this. Wait a second. Okay. I thumbs I thumbs up something. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just yeah. just don't open it. Don't open it. Don't open it. Okay. You see it? I'm now gonna unthumbs up it. Wait. I have to open it to see if it removes it in real time, right? No, 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 no. Have you removed it yet? All right. I just removed it. Removed a like. I did get a notification. If you get a notification about I that. I did get a notification. Interesting. But you were watching it real time. Yeah. So you yeah. didn't get the no ah, Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You're. Oh yeah. Because then we could have been like, look, they removed this notification. I mean, I mean it really wouldn't have done, done good. anything ultimately. <laughs> but the fact it's like it's like a it's like suing someone 
going for twenty dollars. Like it's not yeah. worth the effort. But uh, we were like, ah. dang. Yeah. So that's that's my thumb story. Wow. I was imagining that this happened recently. We were in the new house. This is before the new house. Yeah. This is before. This was this was the summer. Summer of twenty twenty three. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Too many. T- any any detail could spoil it. Leak. <laughs> we can't. Our our audience is too passionate. We can't let the hounds loose on them. We'll release it on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Which, by the way, uh, we just recently relaunched, and now we have um, not just ad-free podcast episodes on the Patreon app, but we now have a private RSS feed. Ergo, you can listen to ad-free episodes in the Spotify and other podcast apps, oh, which is pretty cool. So five bucks a month, no ads. You don't have to listen to their ads, or they do make fun ads. I Dude, do like our ads are fire. I'm sorry. We we really have a fun put a time. Lot of time into them. Riley, do we have another okay story? We time got, or do we have not enough. I did not. Oh, the mailbox. Mailbox. Yeah, okay. you got one for us. <laughs> okay, got a quick so one? it's kind of like uh. So I was heading to school one day, yep. and while I was leaving, my neighbor's mailbox was destroyed. And I was like, "What the heck?" And then I looked down in this ditch, right across, like my grandma's house is up the hill, and it's like this ditch right at the bottom of the hill. And it's this guy's truck upside down, and he like gets it or sideways, and he gets out of the truck, and he's standing on it, and he's like, hey man, I need a ride. And I look at him like, okay. I get him in the car, I drive him to his buddy house and I like drive back. My brother's sitting there like, dude, this was stupid. And then I get next to my neighbor's uh, mailbox and there are people there and they slow me down. They're like, you know who did this? I said, yeah, I just dropped him off down the road. Riley. You go check him out. And they were like, you shouldn't have done this. And then I just <laughs> drove off. <laughs> But then my mom heard about it. And my dad said, yeah, the cops came by here looking for uh, a gray Prius. You know anything about that? I was like, yeah, it was me. <laughs> and, but he made up the story. He made me feel bad. But yeah, he that was like drunk driving and like so hit the mailbox. Funny. Dude, why would you Why <laughs> would you drive him back? I don't know. Uh, especially like it's already like low key weird and and good good for someone who uh, helps someone hitchhike. That's that's cool. That's great. But I shouldn't that. have. But, but not was- hitchhiking after he's literally <laughs> his f- upside down cars in a ditch. He's like... <laughs> And the whole way there. Hey, man. Can, uh, uh, can you give me a ride home? No. Yeah. And he was like, please don't call the cops. I was like, don't worry. I won't. Bro. <laughs> Damn it, Riley. <laughs> Aiding mom, and abetting in crimes. I was so pissed, dude. Dude. She's like, you get dressed. And I was sick to my stomach the whole day at school. And this was, well, how old were you? I was a senior in high school. Oh, my God. This happened in like 2018. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. But. Not as crazy as the final story we have for you. And this one actually comes from the OKOP fam on r slash OKOP show on Reddit. If you want us to read your stories like this, go to r slash OKOP show on our subreddit, submit it there, or you can call us at 440-508-6567. We love your stories, Um, but let's get into this one. You want me to read this one? Yeah, let's do it. Dude. Let's do it. First one I've ever read. read. All right, we just just decided, Riley's just going to read this story. Riley's going to read it. That. I'm I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited. I also have dyslexia, <laughs> so please bear with We're me. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. All right. All right, let's do it. My ex cheated on me <laughs> twice and said I was a bad guy. <laughs> and what should I do now? This is OKOP, home of the craziest true stories on earth. I'm Riley. John, what should they do? Dude, leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Like, especially, yo, this is the okay fam we're talking about. Like, I would be like, save save your energy and peace out with the person. Unless yeah. unless you can get some fun banger revenge. You know, we, we do You're love right. some fun petty revenge. So if you can squeeze that in there, why not? But big picture, go live your life. You know, yeah, you sh- they should have waited for a third time. <laughs> No, leave. Leave the relationship and just move on. That's big picture. That's great advice. So, RS Handsome says from the OKOP subreddit. Woo! Wait, you already... That's okay. We can say it again. Yeah, go to the subreddit. Write your yeah. crazy stories. Do it. I will read them all. Yes. <sighs> okay. Sorry for any typos that may have occurred. English is a second language. All right. We are down. We will read this That's as right. if it was your first language. Yep. Okay. So, once upon a time, I met a girl. We'll call her Joy because it's ironic. Love that. <laughs> we met at some vacations end and had a classic Greece relationship. Oh, the summer ended. Cute. Have you ever seen Greece? Yeah, I know the premise. Okay, great. I had, I had to travel back to the city where I was studying 5.5 hours away by bus or 30 minutes by plane. Dang. On a bus. Pretty good. A bit about Joy. She's bisexual and has social anxiety. Hell yeah. <laughs> or so she told me. Oh, so she lied about Oh, snap. Wait, which one do you think she lied about? Bisexual or social anxiety? Pick one. Social anxiety. Okay. 
I pick bi- I'll pick bisexual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Both relevant in the story later. Our first discussion was around Christmas times when I was I expressed discomfort with her joking around about making out with her female friends because of my previous girlfriend was cheating on me. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense because she is bisexual and that would be cheating. Wait, if your girlfriend gets another girl, would you consider that cheating? It was just it was just a me? I don't know. I don't care. Okay. What if she was making out with other girls? Is that cheating? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think it was an answer. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Oh, it's cheating to me if you're making out, but a little peck. I think, I think it's like if, if someone's trying to like steal them away and other things like, you know, there's something yeah. like, oh, okay. That's cool. But That's cool. Yeah, I don't know why it's a little different. It is a little different. A little different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> I, I, said, I said something back there, but <laughs> anyways, uh, she argued with me that she argued that she'd think it was okay since she was okay with me making out with my male friends. That's, do you make out with your male friends? That is not the same. Just because me and Riley ha- kiss passionately does not mean that does this that is mean, okay. Yeah. Naima, you should not kiss other <laughs> girls if we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I called her out on the flaw in her logic here and said that, that that is no way a good metaphor. I'm not capable to catch romantic or sexual feelings towards a dude, but she by no means was okay with me making out with one of my female friends. So that topic was dropped. Red flag number one. Yeah. I mean, bottom line, uh, OP is not okay with it. Yeah. Wow. OP is not okay with it. Whoa. (laughs) We're going to start saying that from now on. Yeah. Right. OP is not okay with that. Yeah. We really should do that. Yeah. So that's, that's what makes it like if OP is like, yeah, Yeah. okay, fine. But the girlfriend doesn't get to dictate that. Yeah. OP does. I'm okay. If you make out with your male friends, I should be able to make over mine that yeah no. like he's like i'm straight like I, that's not what i want to do and it's not the same because he i don't think he is bisexual i'm not getting bisexual he's, vibes he, uh, yeah i'm pretty sure that's what he was saying that he's not bisexual and also he's like i don't want to cheat on you yeah like in what i am defining in our relationship as as cheating and i don't want you to but you as a girl is attracted to the other specimen or same specimen yeah the same specimen oh my god i'm like an incel <laughs> i'm not trying to <laughs> I just like having using cinnamon synonym words, <laughs> but I can only say woman and girl, and I'm restricted to those two things. <laughs> yeah, Riley can't say female. It's been bad. Only thing he could do is like 23 female. That's it. That's the only time he <laughs> can say it. <laughs> That's true. It's the only time. Mm. Our relationship continued on to be great for a while after that, but then spring hit. The Ooh. week before I was going to travel to my girlfriend's, she called me and said that she kissed another guy, but it wasn't her fault. Uh, it wasn't her fault though. I just slipped. Oh Oh my good golly goobers. I'm so sorry. I slipped on that banana over there and made no, it wasn't her fault. No, she said she'd been out drinking the night before and said that while they were leaving, one of her male friends who was holding her jacket said she wouldn't get her jacket back unless she kissed him. No, she kissed him and got the jacket back and left, but she left immediately after she kissed him, got the jacket left. My question was it cold? (laughs) Why is it cold outside? Did you need this jacket? You know what? You know what? Shut that down real quick. Maybe you could try not sexually assaulting me and give me my jacket. Yo. What are you going to do? That's a really good point, too. Get out of here. Get out of here. No one should be sexually assaulted. Yeah. I already told him the story. What? I don't know what about story. the butt thing when I, I told him about oh! it. Oh, yeah, dude. Someone was fondling. I was I was right there. Dude. You saw it happen. I didn't quite fully see it happen, but I saw I saw her pass Riley. And also he he has an OK story. Story time about this okay, person. Story time at the he end. has an okay story, okay, time, story time, time at the end. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whilst explaining this, she brought her sister onto the call who vouched for her story. And, and I had to tell her sister, please lower the volume so I can speak to my girlfriend alone. Interesting. Red flag two in hindsight. So she brought in another person to manipulate the situation. Oh my God. Ooh. Yeah. We- yeah. Yeah, I totally agree, OP. And honestly, the fact that there's been all of these red flags, like enough red flags to leave, enough red flags to leave. All right. But they made amends. They were good for a while until summer vacation. I love that each season brings another conflict. (laughs) A new red flag is the flowers of men in spring. She then got a part time job in a grocery store and one of her female colleagues were there were friendly with joy, maybe a little too friendly on a company party midway through the vacation. The colleague from now on LB for lesbian biatch. (laughs) had said that she had a crush on Joy in front of her other work friends who had told her jokingly to calm her pants down. 
Interesting. I love that. Right. They're, they're being like, yo, don't cheat on your mans. Yeah. Calm right? your yeah. pants down. Calm your pants down. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, calm your pants down. <laughs> Always could use that. Oh, yeah. Always could use that one. Joy spoken for. Joy told me this afterwards to which I responded. I don't want you to hang out with her outside of work. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Yeah. A couple weeks later, Joy was going to a party with her work friends and asked, with who? She paused and said, no one you know about. Do you see where this is going? Dude, he called an I see you. Dude, put he an ICU. I see it. you. <laughs> yes. He called it. Oh, Let's go. Yes. I see you in the comments if you know it's about to go down. <laughs> her response made me really uncomfortable, and, but I had told her how I felt about LB and <laughs> hoped that she would respect what I had previously asked her. Yes. Not hanging out with LB just to refresh your minds. Yes. But yeah, she pre-gamed with LB, sent out to a nightclub with LB, <sighs> and then to an after party with LB. Oh my. She called me somewhere during the night and told me that she had been hanging out with LB all night and said, don't worry, call Nefrang was good. No, oh, because nothing was going to happen between them, which was comforting my stress, not at all since she was slurring. Right. It's like, it's like, that's not helping at all. You're drunk at an after party. She was like, slurring. Oh, that's what she said. Life was going to happen. Uh, baby, I, I, it's fine. We're not going to do it. Oh my God, stop tickling me. We're going to be fine. No. Yikes. No. The day after I called and asked how her night went and she told me nothing had happened, but after some prying, they told me they made out, and after more prying, hand stuff and making out happen. <sighs> Yikes, not the hand stuff. OP. Yep. Leave. Get out of here. Run. Get out of here, run. man. Run, Forrest, run. Okay, this was great. Since I had purchased her Xmas Christmas. Yeah, I was early on that one. Wait, this is summer vacation. Wait, so I'm guessing this is like maybe August. Oh, the maybe. time being August. Yeah. I said we should break up, but she didn't want to do it over the phone. So we set a relationship from the end of August to December without exchanging any sort sort of communication. <laughs> no. no. I've, I've got a I've got a quick okay story time after this. It's gonna be really bad. It's really bad. No, this is horrible. Oh my gosh. No, <laughs> why? What's that? People break up over letters in the past, right? Dude. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. They've had know. to. Okay. There is a small twist, though. In the end of November, I was still really heartbroken. I met a girl from my roommate's university class. We hit off immediately. She made out. She made me not depressed anymore about the breakup I was going through, and we chatted every day and night. Felt kind of guilty about the feelings I had since I had not officially had left the relationship, so and dumb. Joy still wanted to talk in person. <laughs> Dude, Joy is out there with LB, just Joy just all up in there. There. Dude, screw Joy. Dude. Like she's screwing LB. Okay. Yeah, you don't don't feel bad, OP. You're you're good. But I didn't want to leave with <laughs> Out telling the new girl, Lizzie Forthon, how I felt. So two days before I left for home and the talk, I invited Lizzie out for a drink. She knew I was technically in a relationship and that we be that we have been going through a rough patch. Okay, so he communicated that and that he was interested, but he didn't need to be drug on for like four months. Yeah, this is so dumb. Yeah. I told her where everything stood between me and Joy. I had feelings for her. And if she wanted to explore a relationship with me after I'd officially broken up with Joy, I would love to do so. I waited for a while for her response. She kissed me and said said, that's all you're getting until you are a single man and winked at me. I mean, like the only dumb thing is like, I feel like OP should, I love how OP was like, Hey, I'm going to break down everything that's yeah. happened. I, you know, I shouldn't get together with you until this point, but this wait until the stupidest nah, thing no. I've ever heard in my entire life. Gotta, Go to your if you can. current quote unquote girlfriend and be like, listen, I will explain everything. I'm happy to do that. I cannot wait for you. No, no, that's not how this works. You don't get to hold me yeah, hostage no. for months and not let me move on with my life when you kept cheating on me after I told you that I don't approve of it and that I don't, it doesn't make me feel good. And this is not what I want in this relationship. Yeah, no, this is not good. Can you pull the story up on your phone? There's a, there's a little script. Oh, that okay, oh that okay here we go. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Fast forward two days to the talk with Joy. Summarize into a few lines. Oh, do you want to be Joy? Or I'll be Joy. I'll be Joy. Be okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she started with saying that I don't think this is working out like we thought. OP. Yeah, me neither. Joy. To you, I always cheated, even when I was just making out with my friends. You're such a bad guy judging something just because you're not used to it. All girls our age make out with their friends. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Shut up. Okay, go ahead. Uh, OP, yeah, no, that didn't help either. <laughs> I don't see how you can't come visit me five hours away by bus, but you have no problem with drinking and going out partying and cheating on me. Anxiety, my sweet behind. <laughs> Might be censoring here. Oh, <laughs> like anxiety, my sweet behind. <laughs> with that. Oh, because she had social anxiety. Yeah. She just didn't want to confront or right. own up to her BS. So that's what she was lying about. That's okay. That makes sense. Ooh, you were right. right. Yay. I was wrong about <laughs> yeah, yeah, very, very, very. Very wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, anxiety my sweet behind with that comment I left her place and her Christmas present with her oh that's so sweet I had bought it for her and that's why where it was staying okay so he left the Christmas present and right. told her yeah all those things epilogue all this happened nearly five years ago and now in 2024 I have a daughter with Lizzie and me and Lizzie are getting married in nine months <laughs> yay this entertained y'all dude OP it's amazing <laughs> oh my wow. gosh Lizzie's wow. a real one let's wow. go Oh my goodness gracious. That was crazy. RS handsome, dude. Dude, you get after it, man. Congratulations. Good good Five for years. you for leaving that BS relationship. And dude, he was so overly respectful in a way yeah. that the cheating ex did not deserve. Like, oh, that's like something you do if you're divorcing, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. But you can still be like separated and waiting to be divorced on paper. But a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. Dude, you had every right to leave earlier. <laughs> And what, what I don't know how doing? old you were in this, but I know this happened five years ago. You're probably pretty young. And yeah. You're like, I could see early 20s, maybe. It's like, like I could see this happen to me now. at like 18, 19, 18, 20. Yeah. Yeah. Within that age range. So that's probably where you were at. But dude, I'm so happy for you. You uh, and Lizzie. I really would love to see like how that. I wish I could follow you guys on Facebook. Wow. I could keep up. That'd be cool. Keep keep throwing in stories. Yeah. Uh, OP. This was or RS Handsome, I should say. Uh, this is great. And hopefully you enjoyed it being on the show. We want more of your stories. Like, yeah. We love this. this yeah. This is awesome. Thanks. You got anything else? Uh, okay, story time. Oh, uh, yeah. Super brief context. Oh, so. yes. <laughs> so. Okay. So you guys remember the girl that like touched my butt and whenever I talked with Sophia in that episode like a few days ago, he gave that girl a ride to the club and explained so what for context, there. So me and my girlfriend were walking out of this house party and then her and like two of her friends or whatever. And it was funny because she was actually one that was like, hey, can we get a ride with you? That is true. I did make that happen because I was trying to get a girl that Sam was interested in to get a ride with us and then I was like oh they also have rides that was my fault uh, that's that okay. was my I don't fault. care I don't care I was like I was like and then and then I mean my girlfriend was like oh yeah let's do it she's yeah. down whatever so I was like cool let's do it so uh, we all get in so it's me and my girlfriend and then these three other random chicks I've never talked to in my whole life one was cool two of them were two of them, two of them were cool well, yeah two of one them were was cool. really cool <laughs> Who Riley? So this person literally kept like I the the first instance was it was this like weird long like kind of cul de sac where you're kind of trapped and yeah. she's like um so it's a cul de sac you have to turn around uh, let's turn around and then she just kept making comments throughout the night like oh are we going the right way I think you're doing it wrong uh, you should do it can you or or oh and then she was like uh have you had drinks tonight I guess you like to drive drunk uh, are you okay and I'm like yeah I'm good. <laughs> Like, how about you? And she made that comment multiple times. Got us there safe and sound, as you can see. And just like kept making comment after comment. The final one was we pulled up to the venue and, you know, there's multiple, you know, it's kind of tricky. It's like downtown Santa Monica, hard to yeah, like yeah, pull yeah. up to the spot. Right. So I guess there was a more advantageous place to pull up, but I would have had to like circle the whole block to get uh, back to the more advantageous place. And I still parked it like it was still pretty close. Yeah. It, it also was, was raining. raining that night. Yeah, it yeah. was raining, but I was pretty pretty close. And then so she's like, um, so this is the wrong spot. So you're going to have to go around and do this. And then her friends at that point were like, oh, no, this is good. Hey, thank you so much for the ride. Da -da 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 -da. And then they got out and I was like, yo, this chick is crazy. And then one of the women who I re super respected came up to me later and was like, hey, I just want to apologize on behalf of my friend. Like that wasn't cool. I super appreciated you and your girlfriend like yeah. giving us a drive. That was nice of you. I'm like, you know what? Respect. Thank you for that. And then that chick freaking just scooped Riley's butt cheek in her hand. Hello. What up with that? That's my okay story time. Yeah, she was pretty bad. <laughs> But uh, you know what isn't a bad thing is if you, uh, I can't do that segue. Um, <laughs> I was going to say if you subscribe. Do it, do it, Riley. <laughs> uh, you know what isn't pretty bad is if, if you subscribe because you love us. That's right. We love you and, and see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.